right in the house now sort of fit got to take some laminate up got a vent here that I forgot about I'm gonna have to boot that up so I don't know how far I'll get with this one first thing I like to do level up the base put some packers in it if it needs it but it's pretty level is that skirting's already been taken off from down there when they fit the fireplace but I'll stand the door up in there see how square it is so stand that one up there and it's not far off a little tight at the top but I'll allow for that and this is going to get decorated round anyway so I can put a bit of cork down that edge but I know that needs to come over to here flush with this that's 25mm so what I'll do is set my scribers to 25mm run a line down there cut it and the whole unit will slide over I can start thinking about getting some fixings in then I don't know if I'm going to scribe that I'll see what it looks like when I get that end done so set the scribers to that distance there See, it just runs out a little bit at the bottom there. I need to take that cone off, I'll try it. Now that's quite a good fit. Just how I fit it with the jigsaw. No, that's that one. It's pretty plum. That's in there. So what I'll do is cut some battens, go all the way round.
got two buttons, same size. I'm going to screw them on either end. Seventy mil screws here, three inch screws. Twenty mil timber. You want the width of the timber, half inch for the plasterboard, and the length of the plug. So I'm going to put the screw in just so that the point is just nearly there and I'm going to offer this up to the wall to the level line hit these with a hammer that will mark where I've got to drill the wall The uh, five bit seventies, six mil bit, red plugs. Right, that middle hole I hit the edge of a brick and it went off. So I'm going to drill the wood, offer it up, make another hole. my turn so they bite the plug then you want to tap the plug past the plaster into the brick you want about as much screw sticking out as, as the length of the plug is Go the other side. Fix that corner with the, one of these and number six pan head screws. Alright, that's all in there. Little bracket in there. I put the adjustment on this side so if I want to, I can pull it a little bit to suit the doors. Before I get carried away, I'm going to hang the doors on it and just check all the lines and the alignment, the gaps, everything like that. And I can fix this in place. Think about getting base in and a shelf and the top. Alright, that's in. Quite happy with them gaps. But I've got just a very slight. That's slightly kicking out, so what I'll do is knock that corner out a bit.
bouncing so when I put the base in I'll just pull that out a little bit and put the batten down there for the base to sit on so I'll just push it out a little bit with that put a couple of screws in there hold that leg there'll be a shelf rail that will get screwed onto that and the base that will get screwed onto that that's more than enough to hold that Right, I put a button all around to support the bottom shelf. It's just fractionally below that level there. Need to cut it, a little awkward to get in there. It just fits under this plug. Be fine until they get an electrician. Right, I've done the same with that one. Just put the bottom in. There's a few screws here and there just holding it in. But I might have to take it out to fill that hole. That's looking good. Slightly out with me scribing on that end. I could have done with a couple of mil, mil more, but it'd be okay. Top will cover that. And on this end, see how much it's out. And that's just the shape of everything. That's, that's building work, I'm afraid, in old houses. <laughs> 